Hey guys, welcome back to Max G Review. Today we're reviewing Red Rose 12. I'm Maxi G. Come review with me. What's up, YouTube Nation? We are reviewing Red Breast 12, a 12 year old Irish whiskey. Uh, I hear good reviews about this. I've seen good reviews about this. Let's see if it's a real good review. Let's dive into it. So I'm going to open it up as been opened before. So overall, the bottle's nice. Packaging's nice. Real easy to open. 12 years old. Oh, real nice pop. <laughs> I love it. Red breast, single pot, still Irish whiskey, 12 years old. So we're just gonna do a your standard nosing and taste and the whole point of this is to give a, a real review, a real nice, honest, amateur review. Um, there's a lot of reviews out there with with you know professional connoisseurs. This is uh all my all my reviews are gonna be amateur, what a real review should be. We're going to be uh, nosing this and compare it to the Jack Daniels that uh, that, I've, that I've tried the the previous videos. They were pretty uh, caramelly, heavy caramel vanillas, um, maybe some nuts in there. There were a few different flavors that were just coming through, both on the nosing and on the palate. Link in the description below. So this is the Red Breast 12, 12 years aged Irish whiskey. Uh, we're going to go ahead and nose this and see how this really compares uh, from the previous uh, nosings with Jack Daniels. There's a difference. I mean, obviously, you, you smell the alcohol. It kind of gives off. Um, but it's very um, lighter, fruitier almost. Um, so instead of um, oak casks, it's in. Uh, this is actually... Um, aged in uh, uh, sherry casks so there's a lot of sherry that's coming through yeah a lot a lot lighter um, a lot uh, fruitier um, notes come through there compared to a Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey um, my first time trying an Irish whiskey I've always been a Jack Daniels guy and I got, I got plenty of um, um, suggestions uh, from friends and family to try an Irish whiskey. So let's go ahead and taste it and see what it's like. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna take another sip here before I break it down for you. surprisingly way different than Jack Daniels way different um, blows my mind how different um, it's it, it's really um, uh, the flavor is is even different than the nosing it seems like um, sherry um, a little a little uh, um, Toasty, like toasted, toast, like toasted nuts, um, berries. Um, you know, I need to, I need to try another one. I need another taste. It's, it's really damn good. Uh, I mean, granted, it's a twelve-year-old Irish whiskey, but uh, you know, amateur review. Uh, this is actually blowing my mind as to how good it is. Wow, a lot of fruit comes through there. A lot of lightness to it. Um, 
it, it, there, don't get me wrong, there is a, a slight burn on that first drink, really on the on the back end of your palate. And then uh, it kind of skips the throat and goes straight into the chest. Uh, second drink was better. Third drink uh, is even better than that uh, in terms of the flavor that comes through and that alcohol you uh, burn that comes through. So uh, the, <laughs> the more you drink it, I guess the... Um, the less uh, burn you get, it, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to go in for a fourth drink here. It's it's surprisingly really good. Um, really good. Very oily too. I got I got to mention that it's very oily. It really uh, shows that on the glass too. Uh, really nice very surprisingly really nice um, red breast 12 uh, if I remember correctly uh, we paid somewhere in the vicinity of $45 for it $50 what was it $84 whoa $84 <laughs> well I tell you what I didn't know it was that much um, eighty-four dollars for this. Is it a buy? Yes, it's a buy. It's a daily sipper. It's 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 a buy. Uh, eighty-four dollars. Uh, you know, obviously depending on where you go to pick it up. Um, if if I find it a little bit cheaper, um, I'd be happy. But eighty-four dollars is is you know even eighty dollars is pretty damn worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I did pour myself uh, quite a bit for a review, but yeah, that fifth, sixth sip, whatever it was, went down so smooth, no burn. It, it, it tastes amazing. So many light, fruity flavors that come out of there. Um, you know, I don't really get that 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 thick caramel and vanilla that I got from the Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskeys. Um, so yes, again, this is a buy for the price. This is a daily sipper. It is amazing. Um, I've seen reviews on it, like I said, and people say, oh, it's great. Oh, it's good. Um... And, you know, you never really know until you try it yourself. And I am amazed, and I recommend this for the amateur whiskey um, guy who wants to start sipping on whiskeys and, and kind of broaden his horizons. This is the one right here. All right, guys. Well, that will do it for a Maxi G review. The next review, I'm thinking ice or no ice. Stay tuned.